Today I'm going to be filming a day on the plate, vegetarian style. Oh, it literally smells like cat food. I'm not even kidding. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming a day on the plate, vegetarian style. This is a very highly requested video, so I'm really excited to film this today. It's actually 10 a.m., so I'm running a little bit late. Um, I had yoga and gym this morning, which was awesome. All resistant band workouts, which I'm gonna put a lot more of that on my channel because I'm really digging resistant bands at the moment. But I'm gonna make a breakfast, a lunch, and a dinner. The breakfast is super easy and simple, and the lunch takes a little bit more cooking and prep time. Oh, someone loves me. Who's that? It's probably my mum. Yeah, it's mum. <laughs> and then dinner is just, oh, so delicious. So keep on watching. I'm just at the supermarket. So I'm going to get all the ingredients. Mother's never fair. You can make me go away. I don't really care if it's getting fair. I just want to love you, babe. grocery shop and now I'm gonna make breakfast which is the first meal of the day I've actually I think I said that before had a protein shake this morning after my workout but now this is what I'm going to show you guys is a really good easy breakfast option that's on the go it takes next to nothing to make super simple and really versatile too so if you don't like these ingredients you can easily swap them in and out but they're just gonna be little protein egg quiches or little protein egg muffins you can call them and um, they're basically really little ingredients you've got eggs I've chosen red capsicum zucchini and as you saw from my grocery store you can get this broccoli and cauliflower rice you could blend it up yourself you don't want to buy it in a packet but call me lazy it was just nice and convenient so i'm just going to put all those in a bowl mixed with the eggs pop it in the oven done oh i'm going to add nutritional yeast on top yeah With the vegetables, you can pop it straight into the egg mix and then into your little muffin trays. Or if you wanted to lightly cook them in a pan with some seasoning or coconut aminos or just some oil or other flavors that you want to add, you can do that as well. Today, I think I will do that. I'm just going to pop the capsicum, zucchini and cauliflower fried rice in a fry pan with some coconut um, aminos and coconut oil just to give it a bit more flavor. Then mix it with my eggs and pop them into here. And I just got these from Kmart. They were like $5 and they don't stick, which is really handy. ones if you don't like capsicum or if you don't like broccoli or cauliflower rice you can put zucchini you can put onion you can put mushrooms you could put asparagus you could put whatever vegetables you like it's totally versatile and depending on how many you want to make is how many eggs you're going to add so i added i think it was three full eggs and four egg whites and as you could see that made seven i think seven little um, mini quiches and then when they're nearly cooked I'm gonna add nutritional yeast on top if you guys have been following me on snapchat if you're not you should because I share so much food on there and just life advice and chat on there a lot this is really high in B vitamins which is really good for energy and really good for vegans and vegetarians it tastes amazing it's almost like a substitute for cheese it doesn't have like that stringy kind of texture and feel to it but it just adds so much flavor to your meals I add it just on steamed vegetables with hemp seeds and salt 
and pepper. So yummy. And I'm going to add on to these. I think it will be really good. And I'm also going to add it on to my lunch as well because I think it's going to be amazing. You can just get this from, this from a health food store or at the health section in Coles. And I think it's about $4. So it's pretty good. Gluten free as well. Now lunchtime, I've just been pretty much sitting at my desk for a couple of hours, smashing out emails and just getting back to everyone. It was kind of good to be out of my desk, but I'm gonna be making tacos for lunch. There's actually quite a few options that you can use when making vegetarian meatless tacos. Um, as for your actual taco, I did buy the baby cos lettuce. These ones are really good because they actually are more longer and shaped like a cup. Sometimes with the iceberg, I find you can't get a full cup or it's just a bit messier, so they're really good. But if you wanted to go, you stand standard tacos then you can as well because these don't have any animal products in there yeah they're not super clean wheat flour vegetable oil raising agents salt so they're not too bad um, I do prefer the lettuce cups just because I feel so much better off them now for the filling this is where it gets interesting there's actually more options than what I thought I've grabbed two things that I've never tried before so I'm gonna cook them up and just experiment with them and taste them but I think I'll stick with quinoa so there's two different quinoa options that you can choose as well so I got these from Cole veggie delight nutteline and nut meat the ingredients are not too bad sometimes with vegetarian products they're full of like so many fillers so all we have is waters peanuts wheat gluten onions salt minerals iron zinc and vitamin b12 pretty good it'd be interesting to see what it actually tastes like though and then this one is even better water peanuts salt minerals iron zinc and vitamin b12 yeah the ingredients are really good for like a tin product I just don't know how they'll taste. So this is an option for your ingredients that you can put in the tacos. Plus, I'm going to tell you some other things to add to make it taste a bit better. For the base, this is also an option. Royal Quinoa from by Simple Tribe. They're $4 from Coles. This is the Mexican one. But you do need a microwave, which I didn't realize until I bought home. So kind of spewing about that. The ingredients are awesome. You can take a screenshot if you like. All natural and you just basically add 100 mils of cold water and put it in your microwave for two minutes and then let it sit so that would be done these I have shown on my snapchat heaps of times I just looked at the back and you do need a microwave for these as well but I just chuck it in a fry pan and it seems to work just as well I feel like it's already kind of pre-cooked so I'm wondering if that's the same with this I'll have to open it up and have a look but I absolutely love these and they've got so many different flavors and grab them on special I think I got these for like two dollars each so it's a good serving size the ingredients are really good and they taste delicious. Here's the ingredients in case you guys want to check it out or take a screenshot. So there is the instructions to put it on the microwave but I literally just throw it into a pan. So this is the main base of what's going to be in our meatless tacos. Normally it would be ground up beef mints. I'm going to add a couple of other things, some more vegetables, a tinned tomatoes and some other herbs and spices plus some beans just to bulk it up but make it really flavorsome and I'm going to get Steve to taste test it because he's really fussy. He loves his meat like most boys do but I think these are going to be amazing. I made them the other day but I've grabbed some little extra ingredients that I think are going to make it even better. So I've just opened up this one and it's very dry ingredients so I reckon you just just need to add water and cook it up in the fry pan. I think it'll be fine. And see how this one's like already kind of pre-cooked and it's very moist. So I hope that helps you, girl, you girls in deciding what you'd like to use. And now I'm gonna open up these. I'm gonna be completely honest. It smells like cat food, like it really does. I'm sure it's an amazing option for vegetarians. So feel free to go and buy this and mix it in. But oh, it literally smells like cat food. I'm not even kidding you. And just even the look of it, I, I don't think I'll be using that today. I just wanted to be honest because Oh, that one's even worse. Oh, it's bad. It's real bad. I'm not using that today. <laughs> so I've just got a nice big pot. What I'm going to do first is put in my herbs and spices like these two because they really bring out the flavor when they're heated and that actually taught me. Then I'll be adding all the other ingredients in here and then just letting it cook and simmer all together. Tin tomatoes, broccoli and cauliflower rice and just let it sit and stir through and make it a really chunky, delicious mixture. Exact 
measurements of all of this. I'm kind of just winging it as I go. And if you like something, you might want more of it or less of it. And it depends on how many people you're making it for. So when you're in the kitchen, just play around. I don't think there's a wrong or right. When I'm in the kitchen and I'm cooking for Steve, myself and Taj, I will always try to find new ways that I can hide more vegetables into their meals. Steve's really good with his vegetables these days, um, but Taj not so much. But if it's mixed in like a tomato based mix, he will devour it. So something like this, I think he will love. I'm gonna give it to him tonight for dinner. And then, as you can see, there's so many vegetables. I could also like dice up zucchini and pop it in there, um, but I'm really, really happy with this mix. So now we've got our mix. We've got these little stand-up taco ones, or we've got the lettuce cup, and you could top it with normal cheese or the nutritional yeast, which I am loving. So good, I've had one, oh, one lettuce cup and one taco one. Oh my gosh, so delicious. Mm. Alrighty guys, we're on to dinner now. I'm actually just gonna show you, we're gonna have roast vegetables for dinner tonight. We love roast ve roasted vegetables and also a whole heap of steamed greens. I'm not gonna show you how to make steamed greens because you know how to make them. And like I said, on my steamed greens, I like to add nutritional yeast, hemp seeds, and salt and pepper. Delish, but you have not tried roast vegetables until you've tried roast vegetables the way that we make them. So we like pumpkin, sweet potato, and carrot. I also really like zucchini, but I'm just gonna stick with the orange vegetables today. So the pumpkin ones are made with maple syrup the sweet potato is made with cinnamon and the carrots are made with honey so delicious and a lot of salt so they're really simple and easy to make but I just wanted to put this on a vlog on my youtube channel so it's out there because I always get asked how I make roast vegetables because I'm always showing that I'm eating them my favorite way to eat vegetables so let's get started so you will need salt I like the Himalayan pink salt organic raw honey and maple syrup make sure it's not like maple syrup flavoring make sure it is pure Canadian maple syrup that's just from cold as you guys saw as well and then we've got pumpkin sweet potato and I've got these little mini carrots because I feel like they taste better with this so come and hide, hide with me. When you're cutting your pumpkin, Steve always says to make sure that it is flat, not on a slant, because when you put the oil and the maple syrup on, it'll all drip off, so you need it to be flat when you're putting it on there. So it's quite hard when it's a really big pumpkin like this. I've just chopped up all of my vegetables. Now I'm gonna coat them all in coconut oil. I can't believe I forgot to say cinnamon. So this is going on top of the sweet potato. I honestly don't love the taste of cinnamon, but cinnamon on a sweet potato is next level. It's just so sweet and delicious. If you can get this brand of cinnamon too, it's so good. I get it from Mrs. Flannery's on the Gold Coast. I don't know why it's better than other cinnamon. It just is. You gotta trust me on this one. Up next, I'm gonna put lots of Himalayan pink rock salt onto the pumpkin and the carrots. You can use your hands, but I really love this little brush. I don't know where I got it, but I think from Kmart. Just to smother maple syrup on the pumpkin and raw honey onto the carrots. Obviously, yes, you are adding sugar to your vegetables, but it does taste really nice. And life is all about balance. I don't have this every single day, but definitely once a week, it's one of our favorite things to have. So now I'm just gonna leave them in the oven for probably 40 minutes and just check on it. And the maple syrup and the honey, it almost like caramelizes. Like if you let it not burn, but go a little bit like crunchy, it's like this gooey, softy, crunchy, oh, it's so yummy. Like Taj devours so much pumpkin when we make it like this. Whereas if I just give him normal pumpkin, he kind of like picks at it. The sweet potato, he is 
always loved as well. While I'm waiting for dinner to cook, I'm gonna make our dessert, which is gluten-free, dairy-free, um, completely vegan, so obviously no animal products. And it is clean, chocolate, co. And I have two whole drawers full. So now the toughest thing is deciding which flavor to have. I'm really digging the gooey caramel fudge at the moment. Oh, nutty white chocolate, rose chalk, Snickers. Oh, it's just so hard. I just don't know, guys. Scooby in the background. <laughs> I've decided I'm gonna go with caramel almond dough. I was gonna say Steve and Taj really love this one, but hey, we all love them all. And sadly, some of these flavors of Clean Chocolate Co. are going to be discontinued soon. So whatever stock we've got left on the website, that's gonna be it. I won't say forever, but they are being discontinued and caramel almond dough is one of them. <laughs> so there is some on the website and there's also some ones that are discounted. I will link the website and all of the recipes and ingredients and every single information that you need to know in the description bar below. Always check that out because I do put a lot of information in there. Yeah, say goodbye to caramel almond dough. But yeah, anyways, I need two bowls, two teas, tablespoons of almond butter, coconut oil, and rice malt syrup, and water. Good vibes and love. Mix it all together and make balls. That's how easy it is. So this is what the mixture looks like now. I got my hands right in there and just mixed it all together. You can blend it, but caramel almond dough actually has like little vegan loving earth chocolate chips in there. So I don't want to blend those up. And now I'm just going to roll into balls. It's like vanilla chocolate chip caramelly cookie dough. That's honestly what it tastes like. It's got all those flavors like mixed together. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this one's been discontinued. <laughs> so good. Alrighty, I'm gonna wrap this video up here. If you did enjoy it, please give it a big thumbs up as it really does support my channel. I hope you enjoyed this style of a down the plate. In the past, I've done them more so that incorporates my day and what I get up to, but I've literally been up at my desk all day, so it's kind of boring. Um, but let me know below which meal you're gonna try, which one looks the best. And as always, I love video suggestions as to what you'd like me to do. Would you like me to do a vegan day or would you like me to do another vegetarian day? I'm open to anything. So I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you all in my next video video. Bye.